in the Cup Bank, Montana right now doing a little bit of shopping. Um, went to the outdoor sports place, got the pump there. Buck or two, Dollar Tree type store, buck or two. Uh, Harvest Woods, a lot cheaper than Albertsons. And uh, McDonald's. I had to get the uh, Big Macs too for five bucks. So I guess it's been a, a pretty uh, worthy trip of 30 miles to come out here. There's a lot of stuff that's cheaper here than uh, the town that I currently abide in. Let's go ahead and explain some things on where we're at here. Um, we're located about 15 miles out of Shelby, a uh, little town called Etheridge over there. Uh, there's not much over there except for uh, like a farming equipment uh, retailer and a post office and some different farmers and you know just kind of real small community over there. Now, reason why I'm filming out here, and if that's a hawk, might be an eagle. Maybe we'll get his attention here. Anyway. <laughs> Um, right over there uh, is a farm uh, and uh, it actually used to belong to my great uncle uh, Lawrence. Just a second. Used to belong to my uh, great uncle, uncle Lawrence and his wife Rose, um, you know, brother to my, my grandmother. Um, and. We used to come out here, you know, say a couple times every year, uh, have dinner with the family. Uh, me and my sister and any other kids that were here, we'd just kind of run around and uh, this kind of caused all sorts of trouble uh, around the place, around the silos. And uh, they used to have like this little hut room uh, where they had like old novelettes and everything that I used to personally remember, you know. Um, but. I remember that he only got like two TV stations, uh, maybe three. I think he got a Canadian station here too. Um, you know, one came in really good, the others didn't come in so hot. And it was kind of a drag as kids, you know, to, to be here and, <laughs> uh, you know, watch television or whatever because of that. Um, you know, they didn't have cable or anything, you know, no dish network in those days. Um, but right now, uh, you might be able to see the garage kind of peeking through the trees there. Um, besides the garage and the silos, uh, everything's changed. They've got like two different homes there. Uh, the, the little hut that I've talked about, that's been, uh, looks like they got rid of that on the property. So, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Um, but yeah, uh, this is kind of a real nice area as you can see. This is the reason why it's called Montana, Big Sky Country. Uh, I mean, you got sky all the way, all the way around. Um, you know, another thing that wasn't around at the time that I was here were those wind farms, of course. Uh, those have just been put up like, I don't know, I, I think within the last 10 years. Um, uh, obviously, they're getting stronger winds up on the hills than they're getting here. Um, got the sweet grass uh, hills out there. And, you know, as you get uh, closer to the Canadian border, uh, Canadian border is like about 30 miles away, by the way, it's about 35 miles away. Uh, but yeah, uh, this place is a major um, memory for me. You know, it's major nostalgia because we used to hang out here um, when we were, well, with our families when we were kids. So, I'm just kind of bring that by. Uh, uh, as I'm coming home from uh, Cut Bank here, and uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, let's get back into.